Do you have several email accounts? One at Gmail, maybe one at work. And sometimes you wish that you could check and reply to emails in one place. Hey San, hey, I am Pixel Pia. And today I'm going to show you how you can import your other email accounts to Gmail. So you can use them all in one place. The first thing we have to do is to go to settings and see all settings. Up at top you have general, labels, inbox and then you have accounts and import. And that's where we're going to work today. So we click on that. Now let's go down to check mail from, another, from other accounts. Here you can import for example your work email. So we say add a mail account. We put in our email address and click next. And now it should be marked import emails from my other account, a pop 3. We click next. You have to put in your username and then you see pop 3 server. And I know in my case that this is just pixelpia.com. And I need to use port 995 because I want to use secure SSL. I want to leave a copy on the original server. I want to label the incoming mail pixelpia at pixelpia.com. And I want to archive it, which means it doesn't end up in the inbox. It goes right under that label. And I hit add account. This can take a little while before it is imported. If we now go back to the inbox and we look at the main menu to the left, here I have the accounts that I imported. I have Pixelpia tutorials and I have Pia at pixelpia.com. And the emails that comes to this, this account ends up right under the label. So that's how you import a POP3 account. If you don't have the information, you should have the information about your account name and your password. But if you are unsure about what the POP3 information is, check with your provider. Now let's go back to settings, see all settings, and once again go to account and import. And if we scroll down a little bit, we have send email as. And here you need to add another email address. Let's add pia at pixelpia.com. So I name this, in this case, pixelpia, and I write the email address. And I chose next step. Once again, I need to put, put in the information, the outgoing server. And in my case, it is pixelpia.com. I need to put in my username and my password. And in my case, the port for the outgoing email is port 465. And I click add account. So now let's look at how that looks when you're writing an email. If you look at the top here after opening Compose, I have from Pixelpia Tutorials, but if I click that little down arrow, I can also choose to send this from pia at pixelpia.com. Hopefully this will help you organize your email. If you still have any questions, please leave them in the comments down below. And remember, never stop learning.